Being famous online is something that can happen overnight. One photo, one video can be enough to change your whole life, literally in the space of 24 hours. Now in the past, I've tried to get this overnight fame. A few months ago, I tried to become famous on TikTok in 24 hours. And long story short, it, it didn't work. But today, TikTok have challenged me to try again. However, this time with a twist. Over the next 24 hours, I'm going to fake being rich on TikTok. In the past on other social medias, I've seen countless people become famous by showing off their wealth, by acting rich. And over the next 24 hours, we're going to find out if faking being rich can get you famous on TikTok. So from what I learned last time, the trick to getting famous on TikTok is by getting here, the For You page. This is basically like TikTok's trending page. Literally, I could spend hours literally just scrolling through here watching the trending TikToks because they're just funny. I need to find my own gap in the market. No one on the For You page is flexing. And so I decided I was going to become the flexer of TikTok. But obviously to flex, you have to have expensive things. And I don't. In my last video, I bought some fake stuff, which I'm going to use. However, it just wasn't that good. So I decided to take it into my own hand and make some DIY design of clothes. I've got this paper that you can print designs on and then once you print it onto the paper you can then iron it onto your t-shirt. So I found some designs that I wanted to copy. I went to the shop, bought a t-shirt, I came home and printed the design off, cut it out, ironed it on and just like that we now had a Gucci t-shirt. This t-shirt would have cost like £300 if I was to buy this. I got it for eight. And so with that we were now prepared, we were now ready to fake being rich on TikTok. I think I made a mistake with this t-shirt. I bought a muscle fit t-shirt by accident which you know obviously suits me with all my muscles but it's like a really stretchy material and like when I put it on it like cracks the logo that's not good I'm pretty sure real Gucci isn't supposed to do that but what can I do okay so as I said I want to go for the rich approach to this I want to be flexing but I also want to kind of make it like a little bit ironic just to kind of like make people laugh because that's why I go on to TikTok I go on to TikTok to laugh so like if I saw someone flexing I probably wouldn't laugh so I'm gonna fake being rich and like flexing all this stuff but I'm also gonna make it like really cringy that is funny and just like completely ironic and hopefully fingers crossed it will get us famous so at the start of the day I'm currently on 18,400 followers. Now we want to get famous, so we need to at least double that. Every app needs a flexor, and the flexor of TikTok is me. And speaking of flexing, the first post I would have put on my TikTok today is the biggest flex of them all. AirPods. I'm gonna flex having AirPods, even though these aren't mine, they're my dad's. However, one pair of AirPods is just not enough of a flex. I'm rich, I've got two pairs of AirPods. These are from my last Fake and Rich video. They're actual earphones, they just cut the wires off. But George, you've only got one pair of ears. Why would you need two pairs of AirPods? Here's why. Now this is the biggest flex of them all. And so I filmed my first TikTok of the day <laughs> and here's the final product. Sorry, wait, what did you say? Sorry, what, what was that? Hold up, what? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Sorry, I don't speak, bro. <laughs> that is the one. I am happy with that. That is getting posted. The caption's gonna be, get on my level. Lol. Hashtag, you're broke. With, uh, with the wrong your. <laughs> Which obviously, you know, <clears throat> was on purpose. Yeah, definitely, definitely didn't get it wrong. <laughs> Alright, our TikTok is ready. It's time, post video. Uh, <laughs> and now all we can do is wait for our TikTok fame to come to us. <laughs> Alright, guys, so update. Our TikTok is currently on 100 views, and we've got a few comments. You broke. Who's broke? I'm wearing two pairs of AirPods, and Gucci. He says as he gets them off eBay for 2p. <laughs> oh no. You don't speak broke. You're using a free app. Fake Gucci from eBay. Actually, it's not from eBay. It's, it's homemade. So as you can see, no one was believing me that I was rich on TikTok. So I had to call the big guns in. The George Mason Nation. I went over to my Instagram and made a story telling you guys to help me with the video and come over to TikTok. Comment on and be like, Oh my gosh, you're so rich. And just spam it like that. We need to trick TikTok. And of course, the George Mason Nation came through. I saw this guy buying a Cartier bracelet in Westfield. Well rich, bro. Yeah, that was definitely me. <laughs> I wish I could be this rich. So rich. Oh, why am I so broke? So jealous of you. The George Mason Nation is tricking TikTok. One comment at a time. The post is doing really well. We're probably going to have a lot of people watching the next one. Because my followers have all come over to TikTok now. So we need to make it a good one. The AirPods were a nice flex. But we need to go to the next step. And on the flex scale, the natural progression for me was supercars. My friend Eleanor Neal sent me this TikTok the other day of this girl who's posing next to a Lamborghini pretending it's hers and then the guy filming unlocks it. Now this TikTok nearly has 1 million likes. Now I wanted to do a TikTok like this but instead from the guy's point of view I wanted to be the girl. No, no, no. I don't actually want to be a girl. I just... Uh, you know what I mean. I wanted to be the one flexing and then get caught. So I looked online where I could find supercars in London and the top result was Knightsbridge. So I gathered all the fake rich essentials and with that I made my way to Knightsbridge. I ran to the station, met Daniel. We got on the train and had the whole 
whole carriage to ourselves. This is what happens when you wear Gucci. You get the whole train to yourself. But before I knew it, we had arrived in Knightsbridge. And the first thing I saw when getting there was a fake building. Literally, that's not a real building. It's fake. It's a cover. So with my fake Gucci t-shirt, I was already feeling right at home. We then found Harrods, which is the second most expensive shop in London. And I went in there with my DIY Gucci t-shirt. And I had the best time of my life. I was literally flexing on millionaires in real and life. I even found some Balenciagas. I need to come here more often. But that was not why we were here. So we left and were looking for some supercars. There was nice cars everywhere I looked. From Mercedes to Ferrari to Range Rovers. But it started raining so we had to find somewhere that was a little bit more sheltered. And we found a Maserati. Which is a pretty big flex if you ask me. So I filmed the TikTok. Daniel shouted at me like he was the owner of the car. We watched it back and the second TikTok was complete. I saved it to my drafts to upload when I got back home. And we made our way back. And once I got back I decided to check how our first TikTok was doing. And I was surprised. Oh my gosh. It's on 28,000 views. Me flexing AirPods has 28,000 views. It's only been a few hours. I'm going to upload the TikTok now. New car alert. Just caught the new Maserati Gilly. Absolute beast of a car. <laughs> I think that's good. It cuts off at just the right time. You know, I'm still flexing that I'm rich, but it also kind of like catches me out. But it's not real. It's fake. I'm going to caption it. My new Maserati cost more than your rent. Ooh, your mama still live in a tent. Yeah. You can choose a thumbnail for your TikToks. And I'm going to go for, I'm going to go for this one. <laughs> what a cover. Let's post this. Three, two, one. It is posted. It is out there. And now we wait for the response. Okay, so I'm just going through some of the comments. <laughs> the George Mason Nation has come through. They are helping me trick TikTok. You're so rich, so jealous. That gets the light. OMG, you're rich. You know it. <laughs> now we're not done yet. I want to post like two more TikToks. So I've been scrolling through the you page and I found this sound that I really like. I think we can make a good TikTok out of it. So here's the sound. Now I don't have enough skill to do them transitions but what I want to do is just have normal me and then rich me comes in flexing all my fake stuff. So I changed into broke George which is literally just my normal self. Filmed the first part of the TikTok, changed back into rich George. I then completed the sickest transition I have ever done on TikTok. That is so good. I then called my sister in to throw money on me, which <laughs> is probably one of the weirdest things I've ever done for a video. Okay, let's watch this. Oh, that is sick. That is the one. That is getting saved. Getting rid of my old broke self. Ha ha ha. I'm now rich. <laughs> Do you know what emoji we need? That's the one we need. <laughs> All right, it's getting published. Three, two, one. So we were three TikToks down and I just wanted to post one more. And I had the idea to go to Ikea. So ages ago, I saw this guy that went on Tinder and basically faked his Tinder by being in Ikea rooms and pretending it was his house. So we're going to do that, but on TikTok, we're going to go to Ikea, find the best room in there and make it look like it's our new house. And so I met up with Daniel once again and we went to Ikea. All right, so we need to find the most luxurious Ikea room. We search and search and search for the best showroom in Ikea. And then I wanted to get a shot of me here sitting at a computer and this happened. <laughs> he called me childish. Which, I mean, to be fair, I'm pretending Ikea's my house. I'm a little bit childish. But the childish guy could not stop us. We kept looking and found the ultimate flex. Oh my gosh. It's even got, it's even got a fake kitchen. Daniel, this... This is the one. This room was perfect. But there was just one problem. It was the most popular room in Ikea. It was so loud around there and people kept walking in. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, the cringe. The cringe is too much. So we did what any normal person would do in this situation. We got some meatballs. We tried to work out how we could do this, but we just couldn't find a way. So we admitted defeat. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. All right, so I'm back from Ikea now. It's been like an hour since I posted the last TikTok. We're going to check it out now, see how it's doing. Let's have a look at the comments on the recent one. George Mason fan. Look how rich he is, everyone. You're so rich. I would comment, but you don't speak, bro. So rich. Why are you so rich? You're so rich. It physically hurts me. I would say it's been a success so far. Since we didn't get the TikTok and Ikea, I want to get one more done tonight. I'm going to try and think of one, and we're going to do it. Yeah, um, you know how I said I was going to do one more tonight? Well, I fell asleep. It was a long day of faking being rich on TikTok. Okay, guys, I've just woken up. I fell asleep last night. I wanted to post one more TikTok. I'm going to check how the TikToks are doing now. And before the 24 hours are up, I'm going to film one more. I think I did my first post at like 11.30, so I've just got to film one before then. And then the 24 hours is up. I'm going to check how I post from yesterday I do. 
thing. Let's see. Okay, so this one is still on 28,000 views. This one's on 2,000, and this one's actually on 2,200. This one's actually overtaken this one. We're still on 19,100 followers. Okay, so it's time for my final TikTok. We've got an hour until the 24 hours is up, so I need to be quick. So for the final one, I'm thinking one last flex. We need to go all out. Since the AirPod one did so well, I want to kind of do one like that. Because so many people in the comments were like, oh my gosh, your AirPods are fake. I want to do a TikTok addressing that and flexing even more. So I'm going to be wearing the same t-shirt as yesterday. And then I'm thinking about cutting my actual earphones, which I don't want to do because I don't have AirPods. So if I cut them, I don't have earphones either. But I think we've got to do it just for the flex. So we're completely iced out and fake stuff. Fake t-shirt, fake chains, fake AirPods. So I filmed the last TikTok. Do I not look rich? Now we're going to go for the next shot, the money shot, quite literally. We're going to go for the sad moment. We're going to cut my earphones. This is the second pair of earphones I've cut. I actually need to get this one first time because I've only got one pair of earphones left. No more! It didn't even cut through. I mean, it just it just really messed up the wire. So we tried again and it worked, thankfully. All right, we still got some time left. And after cutting the earphones, I went full destruction mode and decided to then rip up money as well. And here is our final TikTok. I've been getting a lot of comments recently of people saying I'm not actually rich. Do I not look rich to you? Sorry, haters, but I don't speak, bro. I used to be broke like you and wear wires. No more. Next time you want to call me broke, think about that. And maybe I'll give you some- You can see the Chinese writing on the fake money. But I think that's all right. A message to the haters. You're broke. The wrong you're again. Will someone teach me how to spell your? It's getting posted. Three, two, one. With 10 minutes to spare, that is our last video of the 24 hours. And our fingers crossed, we go viral. Okay, so the last post has been up for a while. I'm gonna check on it now. The most recent one is on 3,149 views, which has actually overtaken the car one. We've got 113 comments. Let's see what they're saying. You're broke. Look at that fake money. <sighs> But we've got Felipe Gomez. She's clearly part of the George Mason nation. OMG, he is rich. Stop making fun of him. I wish I was as rich as you. Did you win the lottery or something? Yeah, twice. <laughs> Overall, the response has been good so far. I mean, we've had a few people call us out, but the George Mason nation has been there to protect me. The 24 hours is now over, so I'm not going to upload anymore. I'm just going to leave it for now. I'm going to leave it for a day or two, and I'm going to come back and let you guys know how I got on. And yeah. And so the 24 hours of faking being rich on TikTok are over. And it's now been two days since I posted my last TikTok. And the question I'm sure you all want to know. Did you get famous in 24 hours on TikTok? No. <laughs> no, I didn't. But did faking being rich on TikTok work? No, not at all. I had fun faking being rich on TikTok. I mean, I'm a catfish, so obviously I enjoyed it. We did gain around 800 followers from when we started, but I'm pretty sure most of them just came from Instagram. So it didn't really work, did it? Most of you TikTok we had in 24 hours is now on 29,000 views, which is quite impressive to be fair. It's not quite viral and famous, but for Flex and AirPods, it's pretty good. So the second attempt to try and be famous on TikTok has failed once again. But with that, I do challenge you guys to try and get famous on TikTok in 24 hours. I want to know how many views you can get, how many fans you can get in just 24 hours. Try and beat me and let me know how you get on. So yeah, if you haven't already got TikTok, there'll be a link in the description, so make sure you go check it out. And as always, guys, if you did enjoy, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. This has been George Mason, over and out. Boom.